Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So welcome to part two of this masjid, the simple masjid. We're going to now finish off this masjid by putting in the doors and the windows. The first thing we need to do is we need to get a pencil. And remember these guidelines that we drew for the middle of the door. Here, here and here. If you just bring that guideline, guideline pull it down lightly because you're going to rub it out afterwards. Pull it down all the way down. And if you're not familiar with that, with these guidelines, then look up some of my other videos, the earlier videos, and in that I tell you how to do these guidelines. Okay, so we've got that. Now let's do another guideline. Uh, the top of the windows will go something like this. Now when you draw these guidelines, instead of you holding your pencil like this and doing it, as we usually hold our pencil, what will happen is the line will be very thick. Instead, you hold your pencil like this, loosely. Okay, and then you go, that's the top of my, and this is the bottom. See, I'm holding the pencil like that, loosely, or like that even. Okay, and then, very loosely, you do a line. Like that. So that's the bottom of my window. So I've got the middle of the door here. I've got the middle of the windows. I've got the top of the windows. I've got the bottom of the windows. So I know where everything's going now. Okay. So now you can carry on with a pencil, except that instead of holding your pencil like this now, you'll hold it tighter so you get darker lines. You'll draw one line here. I'm going to use a marker. Okay but you'll be using your pencil. So where that middle line is, on either side of it, you're drawing the bottom of the window. Here as well. So this line stays in the middle. Now, we're gonna go up. Up to the top line that we did, the guideline that we did there, and the same on the other side. Okay, and now we're going to arch these videos. We're going to go from A, remember B is here, C is here. So A to B, and C to B, like that. We'll do the same on the other side. So up to the guideline up to the guideline or down from the guideline even and then from A to B the middle line there and then we'll go from B to C and C to B either way now because I've used a pencil uh, a marker I've made this window slightly thicker than this one so if you make a mistake like that when you're using a pencil you can rub it out redo it but I'm gonna have to live with it now now for the door the top of the door is going to go here we know where the guideline is so let's put guidelines for where we want the door to start about here about here so that's a that's B that's C so we'll go from a to B and then we'll go from B to C or the other way around C to B just as we've done with all the other domes. Now, you're gonna do this with a pencil. You're not just gonna go A to B like that, because that'll be a funny looking door. First we need to go up, and then we need to curve it. It's like writing a letter R, big letter R, yes? It's like right like we're writing an R okay so and then you might want to also mark a line here after you've done that so you know where the turn where you went straight up and then you turned at this point curved in 
this is where you curled it from so in the same way you might just want to use that as a guideline going all the way across and then you can put that there so you know that I'm going to go up here and from this point I need to curl it in something like that and notice I'm holding the pencil loosely from the top I'm not going like that you got to hold it loosely go up and round up and round something like that that's a nice door I'm happy with that so now I'm going to go over it with a marker up and round round and down you can do it you can do it up and round you can do it from the top to bottom as well that's quite decent and then you use that middle line the guideline you you go over that for the middle of the door although mine should have been a bit more that way but that's a problem with drawing with a marker so make sure you use a pencil and we've got two door handles on there all right and then here draw a line going up there and here a parallel line going up there as well okay although this looks okay I have messed up the door a little bit so what I can do is I can just do a double line here make it look a bit better okay and then put stones here a bit of grass here there we have it okay now the windows windows look a bit pl plain so you can do a number of things with the win windows here what you can do is you can just go draw a smaller window on the inside of the big one just follow the line same thing here okay and you can just leave it like that or what else you can do is if you draw some diagonal lines with your pencil aqua distant meaning the distance between them is about the same and then some diagonal lines going the other way so you've got like a grid okay that looks quite decent and then as we do do some bushes here do some mountains in the background and do the sun and if you want you can draw some birds in there okay hope you've enjoyed that oops what I will do also if you want to you don't have to do this but if you want to add a bit more detail you can just draw another guideline here for the bottom of the window you've already got a guideline here for the top of the window because of the line that we did here and then A this is our A go to B and C to B do it with a pencil and once you're happy with the position do it in and you've got a nice little window there for the mozin to give his azan you might also want to put a grid on there <coughs> also what you can do is put arches on here and you might want to put 
arches or circles on here and on here and then you don't want to overdo it so that looks quite decent that looks very nice I think so there you have it nice little masjid for you to draw hope you've enjoyed that please leave a comment and remember to subscribe and share with others and I'll see you next time.